Okay, folks, what I want to talk about today is actually how to install an iWave R self-cleaning system. I want to talk today about different locations that you could put it in the air handler. This particular unit is a vertical unit. I want to show you the ductwork here. This is actually the return ductwork. You notice it's running down the bottom here. It's running into the equipment itself. Okay, so the thing that you've got to do, you have to put this unit between the filter and the system itself, the coil, okay? So as you as you come over here, you see where the ductwork runs in, it's got a nice plenum base. Here's the filter. So you, you can't put this down here. Nope, you have to put it up here. So one thing you could do, you got a three inch diameter here and you need about five inches of space between the coil and the blower. You don't really want nothing you know, anything that can cause any kind of inducive current, something that can cause a magnetic or a static charge, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to point out, so what you could do is come over on this side here and drill you a hole, okay? Now, when you drill the hole, you will only have this inside, but I'm just going to show you what it would look like. So you'd have this wheel cleaning inside as the airflow comes up through here. It'll hit this... Uh, Goal post and it'll go through this thing will actually clean the coil from all the way through this thing will penetrate and clean the entire coil both backside and front side where your conventional UV light doesn't do it so let's just say you didn't have this option what would be another option the second best option would be to take and drill you a three inch hole on this side that would be centered on the shaft okay so you would put it basically you would mount it over there and that thing would constantly turn. So as that air was passing up through here, it would constantly be getting those 160 million positive negatives ions per cubic centimeter per second, constantly. The third option, which is not my favorite option for a vertical unit, is actually in the supply plenum. I did talk to the manufacturer's rep and he said that would be fine, it would work, but that's option C. Now let's talk about the voltage. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is you put this thing on the metal cabinet. You see this gasket? It actually has a self-sealing gasket and it has the screws. So you just take your little uh, sheet metal screws and you self-tap it. If you notice this, if you can mount it inside, if you had room to mount it inside, because this is like for a horizontal, if you had a horizontal, you can mount it straight down. As long as the air is flowing right across the top here, that's all you're trying to do. Just pretend this is two goals, air flows straight across. The next thing I want to talk about is the uh, universal voltage. This thing goes from 24 volts to 260 volts. You've only got these two wires right here. The white wire is the common wire and the black wire is the T2, T1 and T2. One thing I want to point out here is you have a fuse. You turn it off and on. It has a one out fuse in here so if you have any kind of a power surge or anything happens the fuse will blow and you just pop this off and replace it. This here is for an alarm, a 24 volt alarm light that you buy from your local supply house. So if you had to mount it out of sight where the homeowner can't see these lights, see when it's on, you'll see the lights. You got the power button and you got the light button. So anyway, if you can't see it, you can always set a, a remote alarm. And this is just the ground folks. So if I was going to wire this today, and I'm just going to do this for demonstrational purposes, I would bring my wires and I would hook them up in here in the bottom okay that's where they would go today and then the ground itself of course the ground goes to the ground lug of the system okay and that's really all there is to it you have the universal voltage you have magnets to, to put on the thing uh, metal you have screws to fasten it the only thing you need here is a three inch hole saw if you have any questions please go to our website jonesairconditioning.com we blog on everything. If you have any uh, questions, just send us an email, okay? If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.